Hey everybody, thank you for coming back to part two of the Order of the Phoenix unboxing. Um, we will go ahead and get started with pack one. Try to keep this video a little bit shorter than the last one. Um, we'll go through any foil cards or character cards or anything that we got um, at the end of this video. And then because we've gone through a lot of the base cards in the part one, I'm going to try to get through some of these a little bit faster just so I'm not showing you the same thing over and over again. If I can even get these out of the pack. There we go. Alright, so we got a change in the weather. Let it out. Dreaming. An unwelcome guest. Inquisitorial squad. Special kind of attention, and then we have another foil chase card, and this one is the Weasleys. So we got Ron, Fred, George, and Ginny. And then on the back, we've got number eight. And so we can combine this with our Ministry of Magic one. So that one is number six. This one is number eight. So we can see a little bit of Voldemort there. So that's a cool one. Love the Weasleys. And then we got Ron. Trapped. So at the end, toward the end of the last video, it asked for getting, um, getting more of the good guys, and then we've been on this kind of a roll here. Our last few packs, we pulled character cards of the good guys, and then we just pulled the Weasleys, which is about as good as it gets. So here we got some sort of freak, discipline your mind. Let's we'll just go through some of these that we've seen. If it looks like it's new, I'll slow down. We've got our checklist again. I said in the last video, sometimes these packs just feel a little different. This one feels a little different. I think we got another character card. Maybe the cards just packed in a little bit tighter. I'm not sure, but they do definitely feel a little heavier sometimes. Lack of authority. Sirius's cousins. It's ruthless. So it looks like we got another foil chase card. Nice. And this is Voldemort and the Death Eaters. So that looks really cool. You can see the holographic here from his wand and then this is r4 so we're getting closer to putting the puzzle together and then we have another fred weasley character card it's not too bad we got three of the foil chase cards i believe is what they call them and that did not open up the entire pack Let's see if we can get it. There we go. So it'd be neat to complete that whole puzzle with the foil chase cards. I don't think we will. But let's see how many we get. Just like last time, that's a cool one. We fly, of course. Just the battle. Oh, here's our checklist. All right, cool. So I'd seen that these were available, so I'm happy to have one so we can see what all we have. And then another character card, we've got Seamus Finnegan. Put that off to the side. All right, and then we still got a handful of these to go. So let's see what else we can get. And if there's a specific character card, let's say autograph cards that you guys um, wish you could pull from one of these packs. Let me know what that would be, who your favorite characters are. Or if you've unboxed any of these before, let me know what you got. So I think we got another chase card. It might be a duplicate of the Ministry. So we got another Bellatrix Lestrange. And then, no, this one is actually different. This one is the 
the trial chamber, okay. Nice, so we got another piece of the puzzle and this is Harry Potter's face. So that's our fourth foil card. So we're getting close. Who knows, maybe we'll complete the puzzle. Let's see what these other packs have in store for us. And in the back of each of these cards, they give a little bit about um, what the card is or a little bit about the scene. I don't think I mentioned that in the other video. So you've been lied to. We've got another Tonks character card. So I think we're getting close to completing a lot of the uh, base set of cards. So I'm happy to have that checklist so we can see just how many we got and which ones we're missing. some of these. Alright, so we're at the point now where a lot of these base cards are just the duplicates, um, which is no surprise, considering there's a limited number, I think, would it say 90? Was it 90 base, uh, base cards here in the set? You can see a foil card. We'll see which one it is. So another, we'll see a smell foil. And then we have proclamation educational decree number 98. And this is piece number nine. So we've got more of those, or one more of those. It's not bad, we've got five of the pieces. Let me see how many there are total. I think there's, so there's nine total foil chase cards and we've got five of them. And so far no duplicates on that, so it's very fortunate. Let's see what we got in here. Trapped in the fountain. Another Voldemort. So we'll set that down. Order of Phoenix is actually my favorite movie from the series. So it's nice to see all of these cards and scenes from the movie in a different kind of format, I guess. This is the, I just recently learned about these cards. So. Fun to go through and kind of relive the movie through them. It's an item himself. We've got a Nigel. Where do we put him? There he is. And then we have, okay, so this, this is actually interesting. This is one of the things that you don't want to get in these packs. And I'll tell you why. So this is a Remus Lupin authentic autograph card, but it is a redemption card. And so generally what would happen is you would get one of these and you would send it into Artbox and then they would send you the actual card. So you would put your name, address, city, state, and they would send it to you. Uh, but because this expired December 15th, 2008, we're about 12 years too late. So that's kind of a bummer. Would have been really neat to pull this. And this set I think has the least number of these redemption cards. Um, but again, we didn't really have any expectation going into it so it is a bummer to get it would have loved to have actually gotten the real card uh, but you know it is what it is neat thing to have shame it expired but neat thing to have red telephone box proud to be their son i think we went through these so we're close to getting a character autograph card just like I said, we're 12 years too late for the uh, 
for that promotion, which just shows, again, how old these cards are and how long ago they were produced. So let's see what we got here. I think we only have a new, one more pack left after this. Got a checklist and a Seamus Finnegan character card. So we got one pack left, and then we will wrap up this video. Let's see what we got here. And again, if there are any more Harry Potter products that you guys would like to see, definitely just leave a comment down below. And again, I'll do my best to, to get it if I can. Powerful spells. We've got another George. Rescue, Lies in the Prophet. Okay, so this is interesting. We got an authentic costume card. But what exactly is this? Let's see. So congratulations. This Harry Potter costume card contains authentic costume material worn by Ivana Lynch as Luna Lovegood in the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this is number six out of 570. And so here is the fabric from that costume, and then there is the costume in question. So that's really cool. Really need to pull that, and that was in our final pack, so. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And little things like that, they can make, make a box like this um, a lot of fun. So the only disappointment was that we ended up pulling one of the redemption cards. It would have been really, really nice to get the Remus Lupin autograph card. You have found the rare redemption card, which may be exchanged for an authentic autograph card. Not really sure why they did this. Um, would have been nice to get the one, but I think in our final pack, getting the authentic costume card is a really, really neat thing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And again, I will have more Harry Potter videos coming up, more Spider-Man, Batman, Dragon Ball Z, Anything else you'd like to see, just leave a comment down below and I will see you soon.